Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Wow, it is six hours and 21 minutes into the 17th day of November 2021. We're six hours into my sleep all day today. All day, day, <laughs> cool. Um, this day I take off and my vacation is sleeping all day long. So this is one of the components of it. it was where, where I had gone to bed earlier. Uh, I think I knocked off around uh, 12.30 uh, and just got up around 5.30 to have uh, do my pit stop, have some milk. I, I made myself a uh, a chocolate shake with ice cream in it. Uh, had some cereal. Uh, of course, that's what you have late at night like this. Well, it's early in the morning. A lot of people are just getting up now. Uh, I was happy to see that um, Carly is uh, doing, is getting back on her feet again. She's back in the vlogs with her mom. She's uh, doing her own vlogging still. Uh, she's Continuing along, even though it, 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 it is difficult, vlogging, vlogging is not an easy thing to do. And only sort of have dropped up, she hasn't posted to her channel in over three months, but she is back in the vlogs, uh, her parents vlog, the Yowie vlogs, and uh, she brought a vlogging camera with her, she's off to um, uh, California to, uh, to spend a little time at uh, Disneyland there, or Disney World, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, and so she's doing the Disney thing. So she is picking that up. Uh, she is vlogging for the main channel. So that's something. It's always, it, when you get knocked down, it's hard to get back up again. It's also hard, hard to find uh, your place in in where you need to be in terms of getting getting your foot in the door. But, you know, these things take time. Sometimes you, you don't get, get to them right away. As long as you get to them, that's kind of what matters. And... The same, sort of the same thing here is, is that getting to where you need to get to is sometimes half the battle. And again, this is, this is an issue of, uh, I talked before when I was outside, an issue of perseverance. You don't get, you, you have to uh, sort of stick things through. A lot of times things go wrong. There's a lot that goes wrong. And you have to be okay with that failure in order to move through and into some degree of success, you don't always get success in in totality. You get success in bits and pieces, and this is sort of how I move along. And those who uh, also have succeeded have done the same thing because it, it, those even those who have had success, they succeed for a bit and then they fail. Uh, this is this is if you look at shade tires, you look at the way shade tires have gone. You can sort of see the same thing here, same same thing there. Um, but I am tired. I am knocked out, uh, and uh, so I'm on right now. Uh, I'm on Brindley Rich. I'll go over to see what Capri's done in a bit. But uh, Brindley does have a new vlog up, so I'll be watching that and. Sort of per perusing around and sort of seeing over the next half hour, 45 minutes, uh, what else is around. So, I will see you uh, for the next transition, uh, whenever that's going to be. Alright. Well, it is 19 hours and 36 minutes into the 17th day of November, uh, 2021. Like I said... These are our background notes. This is what gives you an idea of what's behind uh, uh, the uh, work that goes on here in terms of uh, the verbal essays, which are now going out. Again, rough draft, not the final edit, if you will, in terms of the essay or documentary. Uh, so you're seeing how things are sort of put together. Uh, you're seeing the rough ends, the loose ends, and uh, everything else in between. Uh, this is how a scientist does their journaling. This is the stuff that most people never see, is they never see how does a scientist produce the work they produce. Well, what is in their notes? What is in their log? What is in their uh, journal? Uh, what are the things you don't see? This is it. This is a 
well, this is a fragment of it. Because you can't <laughs> document the entire day, but you can certainly document certain parts of it. Anyways, uh, I have done a bit of the YouTube stroll. I'm saving the rest for tonight. After I go out and do my observation, of course, I have two different vlogs. I have the observation vlog, and I have the no cease vlog. Those are the two vlogs I do out there. In addition to doing the uh, transition vlog, the transition segment to this vlog, right? We're always in, we're always doing transitions because we are transitioning now uh, from uh, we're got about an hour left, we're gonna, uh, half hour left to an hour left before we go outside. Uh, so I thought I'd sort of stop here and do this now. Uh, I'm happy to see that uh, Allie is back in the uh, the Yowie vlogs once again. She's back in regularly. She's off to Disneyland. So I'm happy to see that she's she's starting to make more of an effort. Uh, she hasn't posted a vlog in three months on her channel. But uh, I think steps like that is pretty good. That's, I think that's pretty good for uh, the, the conditions. And... Uh, uh, seeing Carly back, uh, well, she's been back, back more, but back more regularly in, uh, our family nest, uh, the way she began, she's beginning to sort of figure things out, and I, it, it's interesting to sort of see the transition between one set of existence to another set of existence, uh, uh because a lot of people don't have these transitions. They just, they have, they, they, they ride through life and they don't really have these transitions in terms of being vlogged or whatever. Uh, oh. But you get to sort of see this with, uh, with both Allie and um, Carly uh, because they've basically grown up vlogging. And the the other one I saw who, who does, who has trans trans transition pretty well is Ava from, uh, Ava Butler, or Ava Colette, uh, from, um, the Shade Tards. Uh, she grew up with, uh, the Shade Tards, uh, she grew up in a vlogging family, and now she's vlogging on her own, so she's done the same thing. Uh, Clay Lea from, uh, uh, the Ohana Adventures has got her own, has her own channel, successfully blossomed out. It, it is a challenge to uh, be on YouTube, there isn't an easy, uh, one size fits all type of thing, you're not gonna please everybody, uh, people are gonna find things strange, I'm certainly a strange person, but the thing is, YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube started out as a place for anime nerds and vloggers and stuff like that, that's how it began, it began for these people, these odd hobbies, these odd, these odd ideas, to sort of get out and have their own vlogging channel, this is the way we socialize, we nerds and we people who are who are socially awkward. This is the way we exist. This is our social interaction, if you will. And so we are. We are the creepiest dudes. We are the weirdest people. We are the freaks and 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 and, and the creepies and all those other people who were initially hidden from society. This is where we were. This is how we existed. And this is what you would see. Uh, you would see people who had anime con channels. You would have people who dress up, these are the freaks who dressed up uh, in anime costumes. This is who we are. This is our environment. What happens, you, the environment became popular, and so you had a lot of other people involved in it, but basically, uh, YouTube was always, and has always been, a nerd environment. So, uh, I fit right in, in sort of what YouTube used to be. And the thing is, is, other people say, oh, we need to move on to own our own platforms and do our own little thing because YouTube is not where it needs to be. Well, if you want to preach to the choir, go ahead, set your own, start your own channel, bring in the people that you want to bring in. But if you want to reach other people who may not have seen you before, you want to sort of bring in uh, uh, fresh views, and then, of course, do something that nobody else is doing. You're not going to be doing the trendy thing because you're never trendy to begin with. Well, this is what it is. This is what you, there, it, it's YouTube. YouTube allows this platform where someone who has something unique to say, or to do, or to show, you can get up there and you can sort of create your own channel. You can create your own existence, and you can reach audiences that you would typically wouldn't reach before. 
And it really depends on how you sit down and how you market yourself. Um, understanding that it does take time to grow things. You do have to change sometimes. I was there uh, initially as Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, that kind of got someplace not too far, but it was good enough. But then what happens, sh things shifted for me. Uh, it shifted from my initial setup in terms of vlogging, the filming and so on and so forth, and the editing, and that took a long time, to something very short and very simple in terms of the editing is not as complicated as it was before, and it's very easy to do. So I can actually, I can add the filming, I can add the vlogging, the publishing, the whole bit. I can add it into my workflow, my daily workflow in terms of the research uh, without any particular extra effort. So it becomes something uh, uh, that I enjoy doing. I enjoy having these conversations. I enjoy the presentations. Uh, it's just a matter of getting getting to sit down and do them, that's all. And I think Allie and uh, and uh, Carly will be all right. I think they, they, they're they just going through a bit of a rough transition right now. Anyways, uh, uh, I'll see you uh, outside uh, for the observation transition, then later on, uh, on the 18th, uh, when I'm back in here doing the YouTube stroll. So, see you then. Well, it is 19 minutes, oh, 20 minutes into the 18th day of November 2021. Uh, and we have ended our observation for now, ending our observation, ending our observation, observation, our observation for tonight. We are, have done the Gnosis vlog, we have done the observation vlog. Uh, I hear trains in the background in terms of the engine, but no horns. The wind has been very fierce, very loud. So the hearing, and this is what happens, the, the hearing is best when there's no cloud cover. When there's no cloud cover and you can see you can see the stars, that's when you have the best sound. Have the best sound. When there, this, you have, I don't even see the planes. Uh, so I can't do the altitude check because I know the planes are above the clouds or say in the clouds. Uh, there's no way to determine altitude. Even though you hear them come over, there's no way I actually determine altitude. And so at least in any way you could say the clouds are low down and the hearing is off. So the height of the clouds, if there's any clouds, determines how well you can hear things. If you don't have clouds, then you can't hear anything. Then the if you don't have clouds, that's when you, you have the best hearing. When you have a lot of clouds, you have very little hearing, and that's sort of the situation we're in now. And that sort of kills the night, if you will. Uh, and I think this is where I'm going to give it a call because I don't really have anything more to say. But doing the vlog, and I go back in, continue with the YouTube stroll, and then go. For see what I'm going to do from here on out because uh, I might end up just going back to bed. So, uh, See you on the inside. I think we've got a train coming. I hear an engine, but I don't. I don't know how close it's going to be. We'll give it a few minutes. I mean, this is this is the nature of observations. That sometimes you get a lot of good uh, stuff in terms of what you're looking for. Sometimes you get stuff that you don't expect. But no matter how it works out, it ends up being a long time, period of time. No. It's, what I'm hearing is an engine, but it's, stand, it's sitting still. The, the rest of the, the, the... There are other tracks down there. 
uh, further down to the east, where it becomes a single single track, and the trains have to wait until they get a clear signal, allow, allow them to go down the track, so that the trains don't collide on the, on the single track. So this is uh, one of the conditions there. Anyways, I'm going inside because I am falling asleep again. <clears throat> I will see you in the next uh, transition. Well, it is 14 hours and five minutes into the 18th day of uh, 2021, and we have a package. We have a package opening. Two comes in as one. So let's take it apart and sort of see what we get. Oh, one of the, the microphones, the extra eight microphones I ordered. Oh, actually, they're all the micro, they're all microphones. It's just the way they're packaged; they look like two separate packages. But there's actually one package here. So yay for that! The extra microphones have come in. I do have to test them out later on today. Let's see how they work. They came packed, not in the box, but in their uh, their wrappers. There we go. Nice. The mic, the microphone is here. So this is it. This is the microphone. There's three of them. I will probably order another set of microphones uh, uh, in December. So that's the package opening for today, and uh, we will see you uh, for the next transition. Uh, probably later on tonight. I'll probably, I'll probably outside as I do after I do the operation and Gnosis vlog. And we're approaching the midnight hour, the zero hour. It's uh, 23 hours and uh, 57 minutes into the 18th day of November 2021, and we are doing our transition vlog. Yeah, that's right. We've been able to do this enough so that we're able to include it uh, in uh, the. Uh, the note, the, the our life of cyborg alpha about the base blog, uh, which is our notes and uh, our general background life, so that you can see who we are. And the thing is that it does. In some cases, you, you're watching the video and you say, "Oh, this guy's amazing. He's great." And you go back, take a look at the background about my notes, and you go, oh, this guy's so creepy. <laughs> this is one comment from this guy named T.J. Uh, Jones uh, that uh, has stated this. You'll sort of see this in some of the comments. Oh, the thing is, is that the goal is to go beyond what you can, what you think, what your initial impressions are, and this is where, sort of why I learned. I've learned how to do this. This is what Lionel talks about. It's not necessarily whether you like the person or not. You have to listen with an open mind, and I do this because I realize there's information out there. This is what I did today. I shared it with a couple of people who were important to me that I needed to sort of pass the information along to. And what happens is that that where I am in terms of how people pass papers on and 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 uh, sort of share information, some people share the information. Hey, you got to see this. You got to see this. Look at this guy here. Look at what they say. And they try to push a, a particular narrative or a view on a person. Uh, I don't do that. I find that very – it's – is dangerous because you can get the wrong impression. You want to see, you go, well, I, 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 my view is, here, take a look at this. What do you think? And you, it'll take a couple of hours or maybe, you know, I'll send it to them about a day, a day or so ago. Or or actually, I sent it uh, today uh, before I went to my parents' house. I was just sort of perusing around doing my uh, my usual library walkthrough on the internet. The internet for me is the library. I did my perusal. I typically go into these. Twitter has these lists. You go into these various different lists, and uh, one of the lists I went into was a rabbinical list, and sort of sort of perusing around there, and I follow this one particular. This one particular title caught my eye, and I began to read through it and began to realize what it was. I mean, that this was this was something that sort of pulled the whole ball of wax of what's going on today and why it's going on, and, and this is how 
and I talk about, this is why I brought out the Gnosis vlog, because there's an enormous amount of Gnosis uh, going on behind the scenes. A large chunk of what's going on, reason, reason why some of the stuff doesn't have any sense of logic to it, because it's not being driven by logic. It's being driven by belief. It's being driven by fear. It's being driven by emotion. It has no sense in logic. This is why it's not logical. But unless you see this, you go, and the thing is, you don't want, <laughs> because I've seen people do this, They'll bring out a paper, but the paper has been published to a, a white supremacist group, and they'll and they'll they'll simply pass it along. So people look, oh, that's an interesting paper. Then they look where it comes from. It comes from a white supremacist group. And like why? And all, of a sudden, all of a sudden, just because it's the white supremacist group, it loses all credibility. Where if you take it from a rabbinical site, and I don't, and this is where I could, I could give you a link right now, and I could. But you don't because a lot of times people say things within within the community uh, that they shouldn't say. They think they're talking to their own people. And so sometimes information gets out that's not intended to get out. And I think this is these are one of these papers that was sort of being passed around. I was sort of deep into these lists and sort of, you know, perusing around, and you find it. And so what happens, I'm there just for a bit, and I, I, I've learned how to sort of capture different articles, if you will, and go back and read them at a later time. And that's what I did. And of course, I passed the article along to someone I work with and in terms of uh, studying and research. And I went over and had, a, had dinner and a discussion. And the discussion was actually very fruitful. As a matter of fact, uh, these last two vlogs, the observation vlog and the gnosis vlog, uh, took up a large portion of what I had read in this paper. Uh, and, and, and But the thing is, I don't just simply talk about the paper. I talk about its connection to everything else, how it connects to other things. But that, never, that typically doesn't happen often. It just, you know, this is one of these cases now that I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm filming this more. I'm doing the transitions vlog. I'm doing the observation vlog. I'm doing the notes vlog. Well, this is the transitions within the notes vlog. Uh, I'm doing the uh, gnosis vlog. Uh, it just sort of happened that, that this is what this is what occurred, and it, it took me off the path I had planned. I had sort of planned I, these ideas come to me as I'm sort of, you know, sleeping or whatever. I get you know I get this idea. Oh, this is what I should be speaking about. And I get up. I write. I write it down. Uh, I have my note system on uh, my phones. I write it down. I write out the note system. Jot down a few points and go back to bed or I'm watching TV or something's going on. That uh, it's not my typical thing, but. I'm, it's always sort of being mulled over in the background, and ah, you draw it down, and you gotta have your ideas. So <laughs> it's kind of the way things go. Uh, and then you you come out and you talk about it to a certain degree. But this is one of the things I have these things done up. So, but this one it was a, sort of midday. I had just done a uh, I had done a uh, package opening, and you'll see that in, in or it was probably later uh, earlier on. This is before this. You'll see, you'll see this after. Uh, did the uh, did the perusing work, and and then the sort of said, "Oh, interesting article." You know, ran through it, passed it along, did what I did in terms of needing to take my notes. And as I had the discussion over dinner, the, the ideas came to me the way I, way I would do this. So I came here. All the thing I had, everything I had planned to do, is now out the window. Well. At least until tomorrow night, anyways. And I brought this in, but this kind of because this article that I read kind of connects the whole ball of wax together. It gives you an idea of where things are sitting. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now. That I've got a hoodie on again because it's freezing cold out here. Uh, there's a vortex coming into Toronto, and it brought it with it a huge windstorm. So, yeah, okay, it's cold outside. It can be like 40 degrees. But when there's a wind, particularly if it's a whipping wind, the, te the, the temperature drops even further because you have the wind chill effect. Uh, anyways, uh, I will see you inside for the YouTube stroll. Uh, probably a couple hours in, I will more than likely have a, another bowl of cereal uh, along with whatever else I'm not going to have at the time. It really depends on how I feel when I get in there. Anyways, I will see you then. We are... Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.